Hey, welcome to Trapping Inc. I'm Rich Mellon. Uh, today's show is about fall beaver. It's not fall time right now. I got a pretty good dew going on for <laughs> for sweating. This is uh, July, middle of July, and we are busy getting our winters worth of wood. Now, usually, I don't take on trees this big, and the reason being is that they're just so hard to uh, to split. You know, around here. You know, these big uh, pine and all that, they get a lot of branches, a lot of knots, and so it's really hard work. I, I usually keep to the smaller stuff that I can pop easy with an axe, but it's a lot more cutting down, a lot more work involved in it, with it. Having the splitter out here allows me to take on those big trees. Uh, I can get a lot more wood in a lot less time. It's a, it's a real game changer. You're going to enjoy today's show. Trapping is the cornerstone that Canada was built on. Brave and sometimes crazy men and women, fueled by the lucrative fur trade, explored and mapped our great nation. Hundreds of years have passed since then, but trapping still remains vibrant, strong, and steeped in the ancient traditions. The fur bearers still follow the old paths and live as dictated by thousands of years of instinct. Fur only gets prime in the harsh temperatures of winter and trappers must respect and prepare for the weather. Trapping's past is firmly rooted in history, but today the gear and techniques have changed. Canada is still known for the best wild fur in the world, and today our pelts are sold on the global market. Our community is large, and our numbers are growing. We are trappers. This is what we do, and where we belong. Join us in our adventures. Welcome to Trapping Inc., the face of today's trapper. I don't know if you can see the bridge in the background behind me, but there's a road here. Now I've got three beaver houses here. Uh, that one I'm pretty sure is dead. That one, uh, I did not see a food raft around. However, this one has a big food raft. However, this is also a creek and the ice here is creepy thin. Wait till I show you out there. There's about that much of good white, a uh, good clear ice. The rest is is overflow and, and meltdown. I'm doing something a little different here. I've got uh, I've got uh, two set on entrances. I'm sure there's probably three or four entrances at a house this big, but I got two set on entrances. I got one off one side of the feed raft, and I got one right here. I'd like to put another one outside the feed raft, but that ice is just creeping me out. We've got so much snow here, so it gives it the ability to. Uh, even melt in the winter time, right? So anyway, on my food raft sets, <laughs> you know how we always put a, how we always bait it with a, a, um, a piece of, of poplar, right? Well, this here is actually, I think it's inch and a quarter, um, built-in vacuum cleaner uh, pipe, like. I don't know, ABC, PVC, I don't know. I have no what it is. But I've just cut it so it fits in between. I split it so I can slide it over here. If if uh, it's the attraction of them coming to see something bright and white, this should work really good, even better than popper. We'll see, we'll give her a try. My first, this is my first one going down. Trapping Inc. is brought to you by Old Smokes Coffee, crafted coffee for the courageous. OldSmokesCoffee.com. Halford Hides unique beyond compare. Visit us at our Edmonton store location or find us online at halfordsmailorder.com. 
Range Road Enterprises, professional solutions for the ATV and low impact logging operation. Find your nearest dealer online at range-road.ca. Argyle Motorsports and Marine. Visit our Ebenon store location or find us online at argylemotorsports.com. Okay, down in there, you can see my trap. And it is uh, sitting uh, in a stand and it's up against the, the one entrance. Over here, we've probably got, I don't know, three, four inches of good solid clear ice, which isn't bad. This is February, folks. <laughs> February. When I walk around these houses, I like to be walking on the house. That's where I'm at here. I don't like to... If you're going to go through anywhere, you're going to go through right there where the ice meets the house. Or, out in that feed bed. Uh, you know, I'd like to be further out there in the feed bed, but I ain't going. I'll show you why. Okay, once again, here we have another uh, set on, a, on an entrance here. And this one I had to hang because it's down so deep. That's the beautiful part about my blue pole, is my blue pole tells me all about how deep down to go and, and where the hole is and everything else. There's no guessing. You know, I mean, it's usually a safe bet that the hole is either going to be just under the ice or it's going to be right at the bottom. So this, this, this tells you anyway. Here we had maybe four or five inches of good solid clear ice. Out here though, is one set alongside the food raft and out here, it is not a lot of ice. So it's hanging down. It's got my, my white uh, pull, uh, plastic on it. But look at this. This is actually probably the level right here of, of uh, good ice, but even that is honeycomb for the first half an inch. We got one inch of, of pretty much good solid ice. Uh, it's kind of creepy. Like I said, I would like to go out, kind of get out towards the end of this uh, food raft, but I ain't gonna. <laughs> There's just too much snow. And uh, you can see the pressure that is on the uh, on the ice. I mean, as soon as I, I cut holes, the, the water comes flooding up and everything groans. And All right, I'm going to take and cover these all with, with the orange tarps. All I'm looking for is enough uh, snow on it to stop it from being blown away. That's it. The tarp does the insulating. Well, I said this yesterday. I wanted to give it one check here before the storm gets here. Oh, there's weight on it. There's weight on it. There we go. Oh man, that's a good one. That's a good one. Oh. Get them out of here real quick. Before it freezes in. Because yesterday was plus five and today's minus 25. Don't we love March? That is a heavy beaver. Wow. I'll bet you 55, 60 pounds. And I finally got something on this. I've had two, uh, two of them sprung and I got wondering if it was muskrats. So I started setting the uh, trigger off to the side so that a big, it took a big body coming in to, to set it off, right? And we got one. The first check 
when you're sitting on these houses, can literally be the next morning. Just because they're not used to what's there, right? And now for Halford's Trapper's Tip of the Week. Well, the one thing about winter beaver, they're a lot of work and all that, but they're worth the most. They're going to be worth the whole year long. And uh, little as it is, beaver is one of those animals where the value just hasn't been there in, in the fur recently. It does have another product, though, that is good value, and that's the castor. And I'm going to show you how to take that out, but first I've got to get the feathers off of this one. See this right here? See these? You can feel them. They're, they're large. They're hard. That are the, is the castor. Okay? Now, castor is used for a lot of different things. Some su surprising things. Castor oil is used in, in, in fine ladies' perfumes still. We start by just making a nice shallow cut here, just so that we get inside. There you go. Now you can start to see the castor. See that? That's part of the caster. One of those situations where less knife is more. <laughs> you don't really don't want to rip a hole in one of these. You can kind of just peel them out. Peel the, flat, the uh, connective tissue in that away. There's one on the one side. You got one over on the other side. It's kind of like skinning a muskrat. Shove your thumb in there and, and separate them. Now, so we're just down to, that's what's left for attachment. It smells really, really quite nice. Actually, don't care what they use it for. It's going for about 80 bucks a pound, so it's a good thing to, to uh, harvest off your beaver. Just take and hang them until they dry, and then you can box them up, ship them off. That was Helford's Trapper's Tip of the Week. Just look for the dimples in the snow. <laughs> Hopefully I don't fall through. <laughs> look at this. This is so thin over here. I break, broke it with my shovel. And what do we got to reel in down here? There we go. No! I just lost my, uh, just lost my bar down there, my uh, setting bar, but I'll get it. I've got a, a metal b uh, bar just for this. Just for doing this kind of thing. Oh, that's a, a big one. That's another very, very big one. Holy, let's go grab my, my bar here. Okay, you can make this bar out of anything, but I prefer it to be metal just because, hear that? I'm on metal, metal on metal. Ah, wow. that took a little bit of fishing, but there we go, got her back. So I don't know, either I didn't clip this properly or she come undone. But it was in there backwards was the whole problem. This was way out here. Perfect, we can get it set, set back up now. I think, like I'm really, really high, yeah. It's exactly where I gotta be, it's really high.
I made sure I clipped her this time. What a misery. Well, let's go see what's in the other one. Another good beaver. Whoo! He's uh, probably just a 45 pounder, but this one the hole was really, really low on, so I had to hang it all the way down with cable. But it sure works. Trapping Inc. is brought to you by Old Smokes Coffee, crafted coffee for the courageous. OldSmokesCoffee.com. Argo, go anywhere. Argo Extreme Terrain Vehicles conquer any terrain, any season. Find us online at ArgoXTV.com. Hags Trapping Products, the most versatile trapping device on the market. Find our products and dealers online at J3O.com. Alberta Outdoorsman Magazine. Alberta's only fishing, hunting, and trapping magazine. Online at albertaoutdoorsman.ca. Wrong. And we got one. Oh, another small one. Oh well, we all got to get caught. Had a stick in his mouth. I do not like playing around with these, especially setting them into these, these here, without having without having a safety on them. Too easy to get caught. Look at that, both of my safeties have fell off that quickly. All right, I just gotta figure out exactly where my hole is centered again here.
Can't hold on to nothing. Everything's frozen. Oh. Take this off. Make sure these are all off. There we go. Well, there we go. We went three for four on trap set on that house. Uh, that's a half dozen out of that house. I left them set there though because I can throw a baseball from one house to another for three houses right here. And then there's another just 100 yards, uh, 150 yards away. So I'm not gonna out trap them all, that's a fact. But that's about it. I got some more traps to check here. But that's about all the time we have for today. And I hope you've enjoyed our time today. I hope uh, you learned something other than how to shovel. Oh Lord, what a winner. <laughs> and maybe we'll see you down the line. You can keep up with all the action at trappinginc.com or join our Facebook and YouTube sites.